Hey y'all, it's me, Chrissy. If you don't know, now you know. And I'm back with another BD. Oh. <laughs> y'all, it's been so long. It's been so long since I have recorded a video. Let me tell y'all something. It, a lot of stuff has been happening. And I just been trying to keep up with life. We, we just gonna sum it up to right there. Just trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up with life when life's supposed to be keeping up with me. So basically this video is going to be like a chit chat, life update, unpopular opinions, whatever the fuck comes out of my damn mouth. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready because I'm supposed to be going out. It is Taco Tuesday. So I'm going to go ahead, get ready to go get the taco, get a girl, get a couple of drinks and some shit. And, um, yeah, come in home and go to sleep and sleep peacefully and sleep well. Right now, it is currently 723. So, like, what's up? Like, how y'all, how y'all, how, how y'all doing? Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened to me. We had another car issue. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, like, comment, subscribe, share this with everybody that you know. Okay, you gonna want to see more of me. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. All right, we we trying to get back into it. I'm always trying to get back into it. Like, Christina, when you gonna stick to it? Anyway, so if you have not seen like previous vlogs, my car has shut down on me. And people was behind me blowing me and pushing and had to push me out of the way and everything like that. Anyway, the car broke down again. So early that morning, I go pick up the battery, go to go to my boyfriend's house because he said he's gonna help me change it. But on my way to the tools to go pick up the tools for him to change my battery. Coming down, I'm talking about a resident street, so it's straight houses. People live here, right here, wherever the case may be. I'm approaching, I'm three houses down from a stop sign, y'all. I'm sitting here doing all this yapping, and I have yet to get started. I'm trying to get ready, child. I'm finna be late. Where was I at? Okay, boom. Three houses down from the stop sign, right? So, three houses down from the stop sign. I'm at the third house. I'm approaching the third house. Mama drives out of her driveway, not, not back out. She drives out of her driveway and, and hit the passenger tire, that whole corner. So the tire's rim is done. The airbag's deployed. Like, it was a whole mess. A whole mess. This girl drove out of her, drive her parking lot as if she was rushing. Like, she had to be to work or some shit. I've already been told that if airbags deploy that your car is considered a total loss. So guess what? I'm out here looking for a damn car. And when I tell y'all it's so hard trying to find a freaking car because the market has gone up. It's a shortage in vehicles. Everything is so fucking expensive. If you try to get a used car, you might as well get a brand new car because the same price that you're going to pay for a brand new car is what you're going to get at the used car uh, place. It's just like, ugh. It's a lot and it's stressful all at the same time, but I'm keeping positive. I'm staying positive because I know I'm going to find me a car. I'm going to find me one. Like it, it's going to happen. That that's, it's no doubt about it in that I'm going to find one. But it's just like the fact that I have to go through this whole process again into finding one. Like, so pretty much, like I said, I'm in the process of trying to get a whole new car now. Um, I don't know what I want. I'm not gonna lie. I have been looking at them new Elantras. The new Elantras are like They really nice. A lot of people say the grill just don't look good. Like it look like a catfish grill <sighs> But I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing. Thank God I got people that if I do need help they would help me But who knows? I just know that God is gonna make a way I just know he will. I just gotta be patient. Be patient and wait on him. Sometimes life has been like really hard. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed. I feel like a lot of stuff 
has been happening all at once and i just don't know how to deal with it all at once like i feel i don't know it's just be a lot a lot that i don't think i can take but i know god won't put more on me that i can bear like have y'all ever felt just a little bit worn down like damn like i know everybody has felt that that feeling of if it ain't one thing it's a fucking another I know everybody has to feel like that. I know that these jobs be pissing everybody off. I know this economy be just about pissing everybody off. These police officers, the system, like everything. And sometimes we just need a break from fucking reality. Recently, I, me and my boyfriend ended up going on like a little staycation or whatever. We enjoyed ourselves. I encourage everybody to stay to take a staycation enjoy the staycation for as long as you need to staycation even if shoot, you want to do a vacation go ahead and do the vacation but he literally picked me up right after work we went straight to the um to the beach because our hotel was on the beach and everything we went straight there and we literally vibed and chill and had fun and talk and laugh and all this other stuff drink all this other stuff like there and we just had a good time like and then the next day we end up going to Water Rapids. If y'all don't know what Water Rapids is, it's a place down here in Florida that's like in West Palm Beach area. We had a blast. At least I did, because I haven't been to Water Rapids in so long. It's a water park. Hence the name Water Rapids. It was so fun. We enjoyed ourselves. We most definitely said that we got to do it again. Like, we have to. We have to do it again. Even if we just go to water rapids because oh and it's been hot wherever y'all live at has it been hot near y'all <laughs> because it is scorching down here so my homegirl want me to start a podcast right <laughs> because i always come to her with some type of question about certain stuff that be going on <laughs> in the world and stuff and i have thought about doing a podcast but i'm like i be feeling like I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about if I get a podcast. You know? I don't want to talk about these simple ass little boys. Like, who want to talk about them? What I do want to talk about is these hairstylists who don't be keeping up with their appointments. I'm tired of booking and putting down deposits and y'all either got me double booked or y'all want to go hang out with your homegirl um down at stk or something like but do my hair i pay i bought the money i got the wig i think i don't know is this a story time no but for real have y'all please tell me if y'all are not y'all ladies not the only one who has dealt with these hairstylists that don't be hairstyling please put your experience down below let me tell y'all what happened right I bought a wig, booked the appointment, the deposit, I think it was about, it was less than, it had to be less than $50. It was less than $50 for the deposit. I got the wig. Now, the first time my appointment came around, I'm not going to lie. No, for me to bring the wig, I did bring the wig a little late. So I ain't going to lie. I did, but she was like, no, that's fine. It's okay. I'm going to still go ahead and do it for you. And I was like, okay, I'm running, I'm running behind. Run behind, try to bring the bring the wig late or whatever. It's nobody at the shop. I'm knocking on the door. Ain't nobody answering. Ain't nobody answering. So I text her, hey, I'm here at the shop. You drop the wig off. I don't think nobody is here. What can I do? What's the next step? Oh, well, bring it tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry about that, boo. Bring it tomorrow, and I'll go ahead and do the wig for you. Okay, cool. I have no problem doing that. Baby, the next day. Hey, Miss Mamas, I'm going to be to you around 6. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Girl, the next day come around, and I come to in 6 o'clock, almost 6 o'clock come, I'm there. I'm there at 5.50. 5.50, I pull up at the same shop in the same plaza with the same parking lot. I pull up. I try to open the door. It ain't open. I pull up, and I say, you know what, okay, let me knock. Ain't nobody opening the damn door. Ain't nobody on the inside. It looked dark. Miss Mamas, where is you at? I texted her later on at night. 
she did not respond. The next day is my hair appointment. Hey, I'm coming today, no response. Now that right there should have told me, why the freak would you still even pull up to the salon if her ass didn't even respond back to you? Christina, no, you still wanted to have faith and hope and all this other bull towards this girl when she didn't already showed you her true damn colors. She ain't responded the day you were supposed to after she already said that it was okay for you to bring the wig. She already didn't respond to you after that. After you brought it a second time around. Then the next day when it's supposed to be your hair appointment. Woke up early in the motherfucking morning because I wanted it done. I wanted to walk around these streets with my head held high with this wig laid down. Lace planted. Child, you thought that happened? No. Miss Mama still ain't answering the damn phone. So now, I got a wig. I go home. My hair blown out. Because don't forget, they want you to wash, condition, blow out, but don't put no product in it after that. They want you to pull up with dry hair, already blown out, stretched, put heat to my hair. I done stretched it out. Done stretched it out. Then got there, and I can't even get through the damn door. So not even, and it's a salon. It's not like it's one person that's working in there. It was. It looked like it had multiple slots. So all y'all ain't got appointments today. I believe somebody was in there high. That's what I do believe. I love to get my hair done, but lately I've been hating to get my hair done because it seems like every time I try to book an appointment or or try to set something up nobody want to fall through like you have an appointment book you got assistance and all this other stuff. i remember one time <coughs> but this time i pulled up on um, this girl i booked an appointment with this girl i remember me and her with the middle school together and you know who the fuck you are i pulled up to this girl to do my hair no i didn't even pull up i booked the appointment book the appointment and you know like I said they you gotta bring in the wig like a day before 24 hours before your appointment boom I pull up to the appointment oh no I didn't pull up she texted me or she canceled my appointment and she went off to have drinks with her friends on fucking Instagram bitch dispute you gonna give me my damn deposit back and then think I wasn't gonna see you clientele i understand you have a life i understand you want to enjoy yourself you don't want to miss any of the functions but damn it work with me let's work something out oh you can't do it today let's do it the next day maybe i could have did the next day maybe i had the day off but you didn't even give me the opportunity to do that so you can make this money honey no you wanted to go out and get drunk you could have got even more drunk with the money i was gonna give you to do my hair like my thing is the inconsiderate thing of it all like don't be inconsiderate you know you have clients you have a book schedule i'm pretty sure you look at your schedule you look in that book you look on your phone however you manage your stuff but you manage it and you organize it you could at least be considerate enough to tell the person that's coming to your establishment, your chair, to get her hair or his shoe, even his, because people, because girls do the locks nowadays, they do the cuts. You, you have, you have, you can at least have the common decency to let somebody know, hey baby girl, or I'm not gonna be, hey baby girl, I'm not gonna be able to do your hair today, but let me make it up to you by doing it the next day or the day after that, if possible. If not, I would dispute you back your money, honey. But no, y'all be, y'all be trying to keep these, these little deposits. I see y'all, cause when I learn how to do my own hair, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Okay, I need to do something else. I'm y'all. When I tell y'all, I just be doing whatever. And at this point, y'all should know. I shouldn't even have to say and tell y'all. If you had the same experience, comment down below. If you had a similar experience. Comment down below. If you had a good experience, comment down below. If you had a negative experience, comment down below. Just comment down below. Because they need to be put to an end. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But I 
just think us, the clients, the customers, and the hairstylists need to come to an agreement, okay? If we don't already be doing our hair before we get to y'all, before y'all do our hair, we need to come to an understanding. That's, that's all I'm saying. We already got to do a lot just for y'all to do it. Like, that's all I'm saying. Oh, my goodness. And I'm actually thinking about... Because if I do it, I want it to be a surprise. I really, what I need to do while I'm out tonight is try to take pictures. Because I don't have, the last picture that I posted on my page, last picture or video, but I'm talking about a picture for real. Let's see. Let's see when the last picture I posted. Like, a picture picture the last picture i posted was december 29 2021 y'all i need to post i need to do better with my content and stuff posting and stuff like that. oh my goodness christina you say that every time you get on this video and do but i'm not gonna lie i don't feel like i get as much support as i would give other people on their content if that makes sense I'm not gonna lie, I get discouraged trying to sit there and post all these videos, record all these videos, these ideas that I have, and, and then be wanting to post it, but then even watch my shit. And now, but then I think about all the other majority of these people who came up or get the support, whether it's for their business, whether it's an influencer, whether it's just plain old support, period, in general. It comes from the people that you don't even know. Also realize like it's the reason why you have the urgency to want to do all these things. But you have to meet and this is me speaking to myself and also speaking to you. If you have an urgency to do something, just go ahead and do it and not to worry about what other people think. Because at the end of the day, down the line, the support going to come. Point blank, period. You have to believe in yourself, your dream, uh, how, where you want to be in life. That is the mindset. That is the goal. And you have to stay focused on that. Yeah. I got to start being hard on myself. Oh, y'all. Speaking of. Speaking of being hard on myself. Y'all going to be proud of me. I ended up doing like a three day. Was it three day? Three day detox. And... I started working out ever since then and let me tell y'all something <clears throat> I've been consistently working out and your girl has been looking and feeling good now I have not weighed myself because I told myself in a certain time frame that's when I go ahead and weigh myself maybe I'll show y'all the results or whatever but I have been looking and feeling good and I'm loving it <laughs> I'm loving it I'm loving it. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't gonna lie. The consistency thing is hard. It's hard. But it's worth it in the end. Because I feel a difference. I may not see the change. But I most definitely feel the change. You get what I'm saying? Like it feels good to feel like I'm just lighter than what I have. But even if it's just water weight. Like these jeans that are these shorts that I have on. These jean shorts that I have on right now. These jeans did not fit comfortably you heard that comfortably a few months ago now i could sit down with the pins button up at first i wasn't able to sit down with the pins button up because it used to hurt it used to hurt my stomach it used to hurt my gut i feel good Join the family, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And comment down below what y'all want to see from me next. So let me see what I can do because I really don't know what I can do. I don't know what God got stored up in all this goodness, gracious here. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, 
test me out. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone that you know and everyone that you don't know. Tell them it's lit over here. We like to have fun. We like to get crazy. We like to get serious all in one, okay? I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>